Hello Pisces. Welcome to your reading Pisces. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. This reading is for you Pisces, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. This is a collective message, general reading for your sign Pisces. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your situation. Okay, we have a card of healing. We have fear. Unexpected. We have toxic. And at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, we have nature. Okay. So for some of you, it is advisable, Pisces, to go outside, to spend some time outside. Okay, to go for a walk, to reconnect with nature. For some of you, it, it might be a case indeed that you are into environment. I also have crystals. It might be a case that you like crystals. I'm getting also very strongly that crystals have a particular, um, they hold this healing energy. So, um, yes, you might be, um, you might decide to collect you know to start your collection something to do with 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 crystals so we have healing we have fear something it, it seems here pisces that something uh, might be seriously playing on your mind you might be anxious you might have your concerns i'm getting quite strongly that there might be an individual in your close related environment who is kind of responsible for those feelings. This person, um, they're showing up in this toxic card. So it might be a case indeed that for some of you, this is someone who is toxic, who has, uh, who develops some sort of codependency here when it comes to your situation. Someone who is controlling, very insecure. I'm getting quite strongly that you might be suspecting or you might be kind of thinking um, or kind of assuming that something will happen soon, like unexpected surprise out of the blue. And that might be worrying you. Spirit wants you to kind of take it, if that's the case, of course, Pisces, that, that, to take a long, deep, deep breath, okay? and to kind of focus on yourself. Okay, this is quite interesting energy. It's like I'm getting this energy Pisces that you might be worrying that something here might have might happened and something with this uh, with this person. If that's not the case, um, I'm getting Pisces that you are um, that you might be anxious overall about about something here but I'm also uh, seeing that you can expect the unexpected okay I'm not saying particularly that it's anything you know to be considered about you might feel that way but I don't see it you know because we have this healing energy and even if we have this toxic energy in here this is all automatically kind of have a healing a healing um healing energy it's it's healing this toxic energy so i'm getting very strongly that you can expect some sort of surprise but we'll see pisces we'll see we'll see what tarot will tell us could you please show us could you please show pisces Important messages for Pisces, please. Important messages for Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? We have the sun. You might be dealing with Leo. Very nice energy. Nothing to worry about. This is energy of fulfillment, happiness, joy. Something nice. It's going to happen. Something really nice. It will make you feel very happy and satisfied at the same time what else we have yes this is the card of worry 
Two of Swords, Knight of Cups. If you've been um, if you've been stressing out here, Pisces, with regards to certain outcome, okay, certain situation, the Spirit wants you to know that, that things will be fine. You have the Sun and the Knight of Cups. In the middle, we have this kind of complex energy, excuse me, complex energy represented by the Nine of Swords and Two of Swords. It's like being at the crossroads or just worry i'm getting worry worry for some of you something here it's playing on your mind it's giving you headache and yes i feel that you might be anxious but pisces whatever that thing or situation might be spirit wants you to know that soon you will receive uh, clarity and this knight of cups is bringing positive news positive outcome so there is nothing really to worry about. We have the Five of Wands for you, Pisces. Okay, need more. We have the High Priestess, we have a Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm getting here, Pisces, this is your energy with the High Priestess. You might be dealing with another Pisces. But what I'm getting here, Pisces, is that someone with whom you, uh, you might have falling out or there was a conflict with the five of wands, uh, this person is, is spying on you. They are keep on tabs on you. And with the high priestess, this is like um, they don't want you to know that they're doing it. But with the Four of Pentacles, you're dealing here with someone stubborn who has a big, who is quite, uh, who has a big ego, who is very proud. But this person uh, hasn't, this person hasn't give up on you or on this situation. They are still attached. We will clarify your reading in a second. But something like this is showing up. Listen to your intuition. We have them. We have a Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Listen to your intuition, yes, your inner voice. When it comes to this particular situation, it might be a case that there is a tension. You might feel that there is a tension between you or someone. But it seems that things uh, will play out to, to your advantage here, Pisces. Let's see, what is this about? So why we have the Nine of Swords for you, Pisces? Five of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and Seven of Cups. It looks, Pisces, that something or someone confused you, or they brought some sort of energy of uncertainty, illusion. With the Five of Pentacles, what I'm getting here, Pisces, is that, that someone here might have promised you something and you might be stressing out or might be worrying that it won't be delivered to you or it won't work out, okay? But the Six of Wands here, it's showing, Pisces, that this is an ultimate card of victory and success. So it looks like whatever you are worrying and stressing here about it it looks like uh, there is a victory and success so again it's like a double confirmation from the spirit you will achieve victory and satisfaction regarding this matter so for instance at the moment it might be a case that you look at the situation and thinking oh my gosh i don't know if that will manifest the way i want I don't know the outcome, I am quite confused. And the thing is that you might have like a 110 scenarios represented by the Seven of Cups. And you might be, you know, losing sleep over it and kind of assuming, or oh, maybe it will be this, but, and for instance, next day, 
you might be feeling that something else might manifest. A spirit is saying here that whatever that situation or matter is, you will be victorious with the six of wands and there is nothing here to worry about. Okay. I feel with the five of pentacles, it's this energy of you might feel that um, you are by your own, really, when it comes to this matter, that there, there are no, that, you know, even if there are many people surrounding you, you might feel lonely. And at the end of the day, when you feel about this situation, you might kind of think, I don't know if there is anyone really who is, who kind of will see where I'm coming from, why I have certain concerns or things like this. It's, it's, it's a card of, of being left out in the cold, but I'm getting here. It might be, it might come to, with regards to Pisces, um, this matter, you might just feel that there is no one really who, 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 who can give you support or who can kind of come from the place of understanding what your concerns are really about okay it's like being by your own uh facing this situation but whatever here the case might be pisces you have a very good outcome so spirit essentially is saying there is nothing to worry about because you have success Why the two of swords for Pisces? Why the two of swords for Pisces, please? We have a king of wands. So you might be dealing with Aries, Sagittarius. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I also have Aquarius. And we have a ten of swords. Okay. So <laughs> here is the thing, Pisces. I'm getting that for some of you, you might be still thinking and reminiscing about a certain person represented by the King of Wands. And what I'm getting from this energy, the Fool to the Ten of Swords, is that something really kind of looked good, but it didn't even have a chance to take off, to kind of manifest. Because as, as soon as uh, it, it started, automatically it kind of ended. It's like a lost opportunity here uh, for some sort of kind of, um, for, f with regards to this new beginning with this person. Here is the thing, we'll clarify this, why they are showing up in your energy, Pisces. Why this king of wands, it's, 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 it's here. Why he's here. We have the moon your energy, we have the world, mm -hmm. we have this king of, okay, so Pisces, it looks like certain cycle here ended with, with regards to this individual or situation, okay, why they are showing up in your reading, we have the moon to the world, the king of cups, this person is very deeply in emotions at the moment, and I'm getting this person is kind of hiding their emotions, with the moon i have very strong pisces this is someone who's focusing on you but it it looks like as soon as it started it ended it's like it didn't really whatever that was with this individual it never really kind of have had a chance to fully manifest into something because there was uncertainty with the moon uh secrets i feel someone here i feel that this person wasn't fully transparent with their intentions and what they truly really wanted from you and with the world there there was like a natural completion here of this cycle here is the thing pisces this person is thinking about you and they are planning with the two of wands at the moment i feel that this individual individual sorry is very much deep very um, kind of deep um, in their emotions they are thinking about you this person here wants to work on this situation it might be the case for some of you pisces that this is a someone from your workplace mm. and you might be contemplating here pisces or you might be kind of reminiscing of thinking with this two of swords if for instance 
should I completely detach from this situation or should I wait? Or should I wait because maybe this person will come back? If that's the case, I feel that, you know, they are planning here. What they are planning? What this individual is planning? Uh, okay, there you go. We have a eight of wands, Pisces. This is someone who's planning communication. You might be dealing with the fixed sign, Pisces. I have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Because I'm seeing you here in this energy of being at the crossroads. Okay, in the middle of, of some sort of kind of making decisions. Should I stick with certain situation or should I completely let it go? And it is something to do with this King of Wands energy. With the with the full to the ten of swords, it's like something started and very quick, very very quickly ended. And why this person is showing up in your reading is because they are planning here communication. I feel that there was an ending, indeed. Uh, with the moon, I feel that you've never really, you've never really knew where where you stand with them. What's going on? If this person has a serious intentions. What they truly want from you. They are now very, very much in their feelings. And they are planning communication. So that's why they're showing up here in your reading, Pisces. You can expect indeed some sort of form of good news with this king with this knight of cups. Why the five of wands for Pisces? We have the, the Empress. So Pisces, you might be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Gemini. Ten of Wands and Three of Swords. Okay. So yeah, it, it, it's showing here, Pisces, that indeed it might be a case that at the moment or you faced a certain situation with a person who's been quite toxic. Because Ten of Wands, sorry, oh yes, we have the Ten of Wands, absolutely. Next to the Three of Swords, it, it's showing, showing me that someone who tried to project themselves as, as, um, as a catch brought enormous amount of uh, stress. Stress, sadness, disappointment. Someone here broke your heart with the Three of Swords. There is... And with the Ten of Wands, it's, it's a massive energy of burden. Someone here with the Five of Wands, someone was a hard work or still is a hard work. Please take it how it resonates. The Empress is a divine feminine energy. When the Empress is beautifully aspected, she is like a dream come true as an energy. She represents growth, expansion, abundance prosperity all all beautiful things but when the empress is uh, aspected or if empress is surrounded by challenging cards for instance we have them here it looks like someone this empress uh, energy was uh, trying to kind of uh, show themselves as, as a catch, as that they, they are very, you know, that they, are worth, that they are worthy of your time. But I feel that you dealt here with someone who is a drama, or you're still dealing, someone quite toxic, someone very, who, who is all about themselves. The Empress next to the Ten of Wands represents someone who, is, who has uh, 99 problems, right? And they just keep on they they expecting people to um to always find time for them and to listen to what they want to say and to you know to co they complains about how things are difficult you have someone here who loves attention and who's very burdening they 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 the way they i don't know i'm getting strong for some of you this is a friend okay but this friend is quite toxic. It's, the, this is someone who loves drama, who is very dramatic, like a drama king, drama queen energy, and who, who, um, who has a tendency to burden you with their problems. 
okay? For some of you, I feel, and, and you know, with the three of swords, I feel that you are just unhappy. For some of you, this person went through breakup and they just kind of, uh, but if that's the case, you know, I can see that you are very sorry here, but this person, it's like taking advantage over the circumstances. I don't know, that's what they're giving me here. Pisces, that's someone here. Uh, it's hard work, whatever the case might be. And I feel that you are unhappy with this situation. With the three of swords, it's like a massive disappointment. And it's something like you um, kind of um, gave your heart, metaphorically saying, you know, your all, uh, very, your kindness, you know, your time, your affection with regards to this person but this person just has or had very kind of a um, selfish approach and i feel they ultimately kind of broke your heart here they broke your heart you have someone who is quite toxic and with the five of wands this is someone who is a drama who likes drama who is also very uh, competitive, but also very um, um, argumentative. It's like, this is my way or highway attitude. I'm getting that you are exhausted here, Pisces. This person is exhausting you and burdening you with your, with, sorry, with their problems. The thing is that you have your things here also to, to, to kind of, you know, focus on. And I'm seeing here someone, I'm getting very strong feminine energy lady who is just, um, who, who is a hard work. And this person it's and you might feel, you know, when you sit down with them, you might feel, okay, here we go again. And they're just talking about some sort of, even you might feel that this is like a silly thing because you have so much also on your plate, right? To think about you also have things to do and this person is burdening you with the ten of wands and I feel that I'm getting very strongly that you are disappointed here with this person's attitude because you see this situation for what it truly is you know three of swords yes this is a very kind of challenging energy but it also brings clarity and this is something that cannot be denied that this person it's difficult and it might be a case that you might feel oh my gosh you know it can be a relative it can be a family member it can be colleague can be friend but um it feels like they are draining they are very, very, very draining or draining your energy, you know. So why we have High Precious here for Pisces, why we have High Precious for Pisces? We have a judgment, Queen of Wands, and a Queen of Swords. <laughs> Someone here wants to talk to you, Pisces. You may be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I also have strong fire energy. So we have Sagittarius, Leo. Aries someone someone wants to talk someone wants to, someone has so much to to, to, to say I don't I, I just we have the high precious we have a judgment we have a queen of wands and queen of swords for some of you Pisces this is a family situation we have many people here are involved here involved in this in in, in, in a certain matter 
and with the judgment it shows that something here will be announced you know or friends I see group of people group of people you can expect some sort of um, communication someone here will say something oh there is like announcement of some sort of um, change Pisces there is I feel that there is someone in your close related environment who is um, it might be a case that this person a kind of withdraw their energy okay and they gone quiet it might be that there is no contact situation between you and them this person is coming back mm, they're coming back and they have a lot to talk about I'm getting very strongly that this person will announce some sort of changes like a, that they are that something here is changing in their life for some of you this is someone who you, you, you haven't been in touch for some time and this person wants to resurrect here with the judgment with the judgment card yes someone here wants to resurrect this contact uh, friendship relationship with you with the queen of swords i feel that they do want to talk they do want to talk very very much next to the queen of wands and they want to talk and want to announce i don't know why i'm hearing announce they want to announce that something major change in their life therefore they are ready now to open a new chapter and they they care a lot for you to know that okay you might be dealing with scorpio so we can expect some sort of uh, announcement here from someone that you haven't been in touch for a long time or for some time or from someone that there was a or that there is no contact situation so why the page of swords why the page of swords we have a nine of wands sorry nine of wands nine of pentacles eight of pentacles oh this is nice one more please Hereford oh Pisces this is like a major energy of promotion for some of you you going to receive a very good news in a form of promotion when it comes to your workplace nine of pentacles eight of pentacles hierophant you might be dealing with taurus this is like establishment for some of you if you if you uh work for you know some sort of co co corporation or something like this um you can you can uh you can expect here pisces that someone it's a keep they are keeping their eye on you or m to be more precise on on your quality of um, eh, i feel that someone here in a position of authority that's how i will say pisces someone here in a, in a position of authority it's it they have their eye on you and they kind of looking at at your mm, how you work something to do with work but it's in a good way because this person here wants to be sure uh, so, mm, because they planning here to give you maybe more responsibility which which will also have benef benef which would also be beneficial i'm so sorry i can't speak today <laughs> beneficial for your work for your finances so it is indeed they are showing me here pisces that uh someone um someone uh, someone here it's planning to come forward and kind of announce something it's like a promotion that's what I can say it's a promotion with this Hierophant and with the nine of Pentacles it's like you will be in a better position okay because this is a very self-sufficient very independent energy next to the eight of 
pentacles it might be a case that you will have more freedom when it comes to your work but this this is quite interesting this hierophant this this someone this this individual who is in a position of authority it's 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 keeping it might be it might be because they are keep keep on there are keep on tabs on you but when it comes to your work because this 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 page of swords it's it's essentially looking at this eight of pentacles but in a sense because this hierophant wants to give you promotion okay that's what it is i'm seeing here promotion promotion better financial uh, situation uh, someone sees you here as as a hard working individual very dedicated to your to your to your job and they want to acknowledge that you can expect um, again this is what i was getting something very nice here will uh, will manifest and the thing is that for some of you might you might not even kind of you know suspecting or kind of taking it into consideration or even you know being sure that that's the case but i'm seeing here that someone you kind of stand out you know with the nine of pentacles and eight of pentacles it's like someone who is uh, there is a potential here um someone sees a quality of your work that's that's what I'm seeing. And with this Hierophant, I'm getting that there will be opportunity here, Pisces, for you to establish your position. This is like, this is very nice. This is lovely. For some of you, if you are independent freelancer or you have your own business, you can expect that um, your hard work will bring you benefits and you will establish your position or your business, okay? Your finances here will look very, very good. I feel for some of you, it might be a case that um, people will start, if you have a business, right? People will start um, noticing you more with the, which is represented by this page of swords. It's like getting a fame step by step, you know, something like this is showing up, but this is very nice. In the outcome places, you have the Four of Pentacles. So this is like a stability. So why the Four of Pentacles for Pisces? Why the Four of Pentacles for Pisces? We have a Six of Pentacles. We have a Five of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have a card number 15 which is a devil card yes you have someone here pisces who might be toxic you might be dealing with capricorn this is someone who is stuck on you who is quite stubborn controlling absolutely with this devil energy this is someone who's obsessing over you and they it, it looks like this person doesn't want to let you go okay I feel that you are you might be dealing with, with with an individual who likes to play mind games and I feel they have tendency to breadcrumb you know to breadcrumb uh, breadcrumbed you this is a very sneaky energy it might be a case that it 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 it, it, it show they are showing me someone who is hugely manipulative okay and with the four of pentacles yes this is someone who's stuck on you with the devil they're obsessing here over you six of pentacles yeah it's like this person here a three of three of pentacles let's see what else we have we have a king of swords someone very harsh with their words they can be very harsh with their words i'm getting here pisces that you um that you detached from this person because you had enough of some sort of mind games here or giving you you know 
time, attention, affection only where, when it was convenient for them. This person is heavily focused on you. They are thinking about you. This is someone who hasn't forgotten about you, who is stuck on you, who's obsessing over you. With the three of pentacles, I feel that this person, for some of you, this is someone who is trying to gain some sort of information, uh, asking other people about you, you know? But you have someone here who is a very kind of, uh, I'm getting this person is quite fixated on you. They want to come forward, they want to talk, this king of swords, you know, they, it represents detachment, but he also wants to talk. And I feel this person here wants to talk indeed uh, with the four of cups. I don't feel, Pisces, that you are particularly uh, open uh, to the idea to kind of uh, to welcome this person back or to even have communication with them because I feel that you detached from this individual, right? And now even if they attempt to, to come forward and to talk to you, I don't feel, Pisces, that you would, you, 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 you will be open for some sort of offer that this person is going to make because they will with the four of cups this is like a this person it's 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 a, it's 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 a card of of which represents that offer it's coming in but a look at this individual yeah it is like no cheers no thanks i feel that you will reject this offer because if something here it's done i feel again you possess clarity you possess clarity about this individual and that's it but yes, you have someone here who is thinking about you 24-7 and they are, they are holding on to you with the Four of Pentacles. But this is someone who is toxic. They might have unhealthy attachments. Very controlling individual. Who is thinking about you? Pisces, whatever you are here, uh, most importantly, whatever you are um, worrying about with the Nine of Swords or if something is playing on your mind, be reassured here that there will be uh, the clarity. It's coming and with the Six of Wands, things will be fine. Okay, things will be fine. You have also someone who wants to communicate with you. There was some sort of ending between the two of you, but this person is thinking, planning how to come forward and what to tell you, what to say to you. So you can expect this person to, to reach out. To reach out to you. Pisces, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Pisces, have a fantastic and wonderful day. And really, something good news, good outcome, some sort of form of opportunity, especially when it comes to your work-related situation, will manifest itself very, very soon. Okay? So there is nothing really to worry about. Everything will be just fine. Pisces, uh, once again, thank you very much for being with me. Take care. Bye.